Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather, this is Honest Homemaking, and today we're gonna to talk about how I lost almost 20 pounds in four weeks by doing the keto diet. You heard that right, I lost 18.3 pounds, I have notes on my phone, in four weeks. A little over two months ago, I gave birth to my fourth baby boy, if you did not know. He was born on August 13th, so he's just a, like, a few, he's two months and 10 days, 11 days old. He, everybody's body has kind of a resting weight where your body just kind of sits. When I am, you know, kind of eating smart and not really dieting, I sit around 140 or so. I'm pretty short. That's actually, I would really like to stay around 130, but if I'm, if I'm not working out and I'm not eating healthy, I sit around 140 or so. When I'm eating healthy and working out like a, you know, like you should just to fuel your body, I sit around 130 or so. So when I got pregnant with Mason, I weighed, on my very first appointment, I weighed 154 pounds. So I was quite a bit higher than my, my normal everyday weight. You're going to hear Leo and Mason. They're in the other room. Um, Mason is in his swing and Leo is just playing. So they're just right next door. You're probably going to hear them making some noise. Well, uh, hopefully that's not too distracting. When I went in for my very first appointment, I weighed 154 pounds. So that's quite a bit more than what I would consider my resting normal weight. Um, and then on top of that, you know, when you're pregnant, you gain weight. So the day I gave birth, I weighed 185 pounds and I'm very short. So not only did I have a belly, but you know, you guys have seen my videos. My arms got larger, my face gained weight. I gained weight, you know, all over. Oh, the back, oof, I really gained, I gained weight quick there. But I knew the day that I had him that I wanted to lose some weight, but I gave my body time to rest and heal because you know, I'd just given birth. So I decided that I was gonna do something different. Uh, Chris and I have talked about the keto diet multiple times. We have tried every diet under the sun. Uh, we've done all the program, beach body programs, Les Mills programs. We even did like Thai belt. Like we, you would not believe the amount of exercises we have done. And they have been hard to maintain. <clears throat> when I'm dieting, I feel hungry all the time. I'm constantly obsessing over the numbers, you know, tracking my calories, and I'm hungry. Anyway, I'm nor when I'm dieting, I'm hungry, I don't have a lot of energy, and I just generally feel crabby. Because, you know, you're, you're very restricted when you're on what you would call a diet. After my six-week postpartum checkup, I decided that I was going to really give keto a try. I follow a really sweet girl. Her name is Danielle. She runs a channel called Daniela Diaries here on YouTube. I mentioned her in my Keto Cook with me and I will link her channel below for you. Uh, I follow her on Instagram and she start, She restarted the keto diet and she did a video showing, I think it was um, like a keto grocery haul. And that was what finally inspired me to try it. I saw her food and you know, she'd been talking about it and how good she was feeling. And so I finally bit the bullet and we started keto. So we've been doing keto now for four weeks. We took a week off to go camping. Um, that was, we ate everything in sight. So we don't really count that week. So for the first week of keto, we did really well. Um, I felt great. I dropped 11 pounds in the first week, which is a lot of weight. A lot of that is water that your body holds onto because it's bloated from all the stuff, the sugars and stuff that you're eating. But I lost 11 pounds in the first week, then we took the second week, we went camping almost in six days. So we did not do keto while we were camping, although we could have after we, we thought about it when we were camping. But uh, we came home and went immediately back to keto. And since then, I have lost another 7.3 pounds. So my total weight loss in the four weeks of keto that we did is 18.3 pounds. That's a lot of weight to lose in less than a month. And the most impressive part, at least to me, is that my body fat has gone down almost 5% in just four weeks. Um, so I'm losing fat. Like we, we have a Fitbit Aria scale. So it shows you your weight and it shows you your body fat percentage. And mine went from 40% 
told you I had a lot of fat on my, I'm only 5'3", so that's a lot of fat to be on my f small frame. I went from 40% to 35.4. I would also like to add that this is without doing any workouts of any kind. We are in a very busy season of life, so we haven't been able to do a lot of workouts. So. But it's a, it's a really good diet. We're not hungry. We feel very satisfied. You know, I guess it's something, I don't know a lot about keto, so I'm not an expert. I'm not going to be able to give you a lot of advice on it. Uh, I could just tell you what worked for me, but I guess it's where you eat a lot of fat. It keeps you full. I generally don't eat until after one o'clock in the evening. Like it's uh, it's actually 2.02 right now. My watch. It's actually 2.02 right now and I haven't eaten anything today and I'm not hungry. Um, I will get something very shortly because I'll have to leave to get the kids, but I don't want to be super hungry by dinner time, so I will probably eat soon but on the keto diet you really you're not hungry um i have had no cravings i feel better than i have in years my skin looks better than it has in years i have no breakouts anymore um i don't know why i didn't do this sooner it's it is an amazing diet and chris and i both feel fabulous he's also lost almost 20 pounds um his body seems to react to it just a little bit differently than mine. Um, he's losing weight. It's just not as quickly as my body has been dropping it off. And I actually think that might have to do with I'm also nursing. I'm breastfeeding while I'm doing it. It hasn't interfered with that in any way, shape, or form. Um, Mason still gobbles up booby all day every day. He's getting lots and lots of milk because when we had him to the pediatrician, he's in like the 99th percentile for weight. At his two-month appointment, he weighed 15 pounds, 7 ounces, which is a very big two-month-old baby. So clearly, it doesn't affect m my body and breastfeeding. We plan to continue the keto diet as long as it's working for us and we feel good and healthy. Uh, we had one cheat day. Actually, it was about a week ago, and we probably won't do that again because we just felt crappy the next day. I felt sluggish and bloated and... Like, I just couldn't wake up. Um, it's, I don't know. I don't know a lot about it. So I feel like I can't really give an informative video. I'm just giving, like, my results. But I'm going to insert a picture so that you can see. Sure. You're going to see a lot of mom body right it's here. Me. But um, the first picture, of course, is my day one. The middle picture is actually my week one results. And then the third picture is my week four results. I so. wish that I had taken inches measurements, but I forgot to until, you know, I was already a week through it. And by then I was like, well, what's the point if I'm already this far into it? Um, I will leave some resources below. These will be the resources that I have found most helpful in learning about keto and how to start keto. So all the information will be linked in the description. Um, Really, it's just two places, like I said, Daniela Diaries and a website called dietdoctor.com. Um, it's full of like the beginner keto stuff, all the information you're going to need, and they have a sample two-week meal plan to get you started. See that? Oh. I've never... That's my cue that it's time to go. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope... I know he's crying. I'm coming. I hope that it wasn't too all over the place. I hope it wasn't too scatterbrained. And I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.